Hello, this is Dr. Tony Fiore. Welcome back. Dealing with the passive-aggressive. Passive-aggressive behavior does not alternate between passive behavior and aggressive behavior, but rather combines them simultaneously into one behavior that's really irritating and confounding to other people. Right now, I'd like to discuss the various levels of passive-aggressive behavior as outlined in a book called The Angry Smile. At level one, passive-aggressive behavior pairs verbal compliance with behavioral delay. It is the most common everyday form of this behavior, and it's the one that people can get away with most easily. Common example is, yeah, I'll do it later, but in your mind, you know that you're not going to actually do it, and you don't do it, much to the frustration of the other person. At level two, the passive aggression occurs when a person complies with a given request, but carries it out in an unacceptable manner. An example is, practice your piano. I don't want to, mom. Well, practice it anyhow. Well, okay. And then he plays the piano for an hour and doesn't hit one right note. Or the wife asks her husband to do the dishes and he complies, but then does it in such a way that the wife has to redo everything. And she says, next time I'll just do it myself. At level three, the passive aggressive uses inaction to allow a problem to escalate. He takes genuine pleasure out of watching the situation unfold and observing the anguish it causes to the target of his hidden anger. Some common examples might be when you know that your parent's car needs gas, but you don't say anything. Or you might know that your sister's dog has been cooped up in the house all day, but you don't let the dog out and then plead innocence when confronted. At level four, the passive aggression occurs when a person feels justified in taking secret revenge on a person who she believes has mistreated her. Examples of this would include stealing money from a stepfather's wallet, hiding a teacher's set of keys, puncturing the tires of a boyfriend's car, or planting a virus in a company's computer system. Finally, at level five, the passive aggressive can act in a self-destructive way that leads to his own personal rejection and alienation. An example would be the preacher's daughter who gets pregnant in order to send a message to her father, or the teenager who let her grade slip at school, which prevents her from being on the basketball team as a way to get even with her parents. To summarize, these five levels of passive-aggressive behavior range from the most common and least damaging to the truly pathological. For more tips on how to improve your relationship, visit my website at FioriCouplesCounseling.com or call me at 714-745-1393 to schedule a telehealth consultation.